Hello, I'm Georgie Barrett at Interop for London Technology Week. More coming up on that later though. This is your Week in Tech. Wahanda's sole shareholder, Recruit Holdings, have put another 65 million euros behind the firm to buy yet another European rival, Zensu, and to further expand across Europe. Lend Invest has secured a 34.2 million euro Series A investment from Chinese technology firm Beijing Kunlun Tech Co. They're now the world's largest P2P marketplace for mortgages, having financed more than 300 million pounds of mortgages in its first two years. Digital money transfer service Azimo has raised a $20 million Series B round of funding. With Azimo, you can not only transfer to any bank account in 80 different currencies, but you can also withdraw from 200,000 international cash machines. It's London Technology Week and the industry has come together to celebrate the success of technology in London. Kicking off on Monday with the launch of research from GP Bullhound, which highlighted the growing number of billion dollar tech unicorns such as Zoopla, Funding Circle and ASOS. At the Europas, City Mapper cleaned up grabbing three awards, including the coveted Grand Prix. Other winners included Spotify, Cano, Swiftkey, and Transferwise. We at Tech City News had a bumper week of events as we celebrated the release of the summer edition of our print magazine. You can subscribe online to get your copy. And Innovate Finance brought together the good and the great of fintech. Here's Ben Goldsmith to tell you a little bit more. Innovate Finance is celebrating fintech this week by hosting an event every day. Check out more and some fintech predictions on the fintech monthly video at the end of the month on techcitynews.com. Amazon is reportedly developing an app that will pay members of the public to deliver its parcels. The Wall Street Journal reports how the On My Way program is aimed at cutting costs by using people who are already making journeys. This is not the first madcap idea from Amazon. They've also been experimenting with gadgets like drones, and this one certainly raised the question of how you'd stop the deliverers from stealing your parcel. We're down at the startup zone with Krishma from What Three Words. Krishma, tell us a little bit about it. Yes, What Three Words is the simplest way of communicating a location. 75% of the world is unaddressed. That means 4 billion people live without an address. So what we've done at What Three Words is divide the entire globe into 3 by 3 square meters squares. Each square has been provided with a unique, easy to remember, easy to say three word address. So that means that everyone and everywhere now has an address. And finally, Evan Spiegel, the Snapchat founder, has taken the bold move to delete all of his tweets to erase the past and live in the present. He also released this Snapchat video guide for parents, but the quality wasn't quite what we expected. Pictures are being used for talking. So when you see your children taking a zillion photographs of things that you would never take a picture of, it's because they're using photographs to talk. This has been your week in tech. Thanks for watching and for more, check out Tech City News and follow us on Twitter.